May of 2017. Like many members of Toastmasters, she joined the club to overcome her fear of public speaking while developing leadership and communication skills. Today, Michelle is going to talk about the virtues of an underutilized resource that is available to every member of Toastmasters. Her speech is Project 2, Organize Your Speech. The speech title is A Hidden Gem. The time is five to seven minutes. Again, please help me welcome Michelle Henry. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters. Good morning. Good morning. And honored guests. There is an underutilized and valuable resource that is available to every member of Toastmasters. Does anyone want to guess what that may be? Thinking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you too. <laughs> I am referring to the Toastmaster magazine, yeah. a monthly publication that comes with a membership and is available in both print and digital editions. The digital edition can be found on the Toastmasters international website and features online extras such as photos, videos, and links that can't be found in the print edition. All the articles are written by current members, and there's even an archive where you can find past editions going back to 2012. If you have not taken the time to read an issue, then I believe that you are truly missing out on taking advantage of a hidden gem. Each issue never fails to inspire me to continue toward my goals, enlighten me through informative articles, and connect me with a worldwide community of Toastmasters. <clears throat> How does it inspire? Each month, one or two members are highlighted in profile articles, and their stories of overcoming hardships and challenges are nothing short of amazing. One of my favorite article, articles comes from this past October issue. The article profiled Janine Letford and how she overcame childhood stuttering to not only become an award-winning children's music teacher, but also a keynote speaker and TEDx speaker. The incredible story of Laurel Hilbert was featured this past month. Here's, here's a picture of him. Laurel is blind. Originally from Syria, he found life in Saudi Arabia limiting and decided that he wanted a better life for himself. So at the age of 16, he came to the United States on his own with borrowed money from a friend. Their stories of perseverance and success have a common thread. They credit becoming a member of Toastmasters in helping with their personal and professional development and success. Reading stories like these inspires me to continue to persevere and work toward the goals I've set for myself. How does it enlighten? The magazine provides articles on improving speaking skills, like presentation, communication, and professional growth. For example, improving presentation skills was a focus of a January 2018 article entitled Powerful Secrets of Persuasion. It offered 20 quick tips on how to hone persuasive skills. In the same edition, artfully crafting a title was a topic for better communication in the article Building Your, Art Building Your Audience, One Title at a Time. There is even a monthly section called Toastmasters Toolbox, in which a meeting role is explained in depth and tips are given on how to become more skilled in that role. After reading these articles, I always come away feeling that I've gained practical knowledge on how to be a better speaker, leader, and meeting participant. Finally, how does it connect? In the quick takes section, members have a chance to highlight club achievements influential mentors, and share <coughs> pictures of their clubs in action. In the Traveling Toastmasters section, members are featured posing with their Toastmaster magazine while on vacation. <laughs> Lastly, the section My Turn offers a chance for club members to write about their particular club. An article entitled Second Chances focused on the Second Chance Club located at the Lompoc Federal Prison Camp in Lompoc, California. Featured in the July 2017 edition, member Neil Boyle wrote about how this club, made up entirely of inmates, developed a program called IMPACT, which is short for Inmates Mentoring Peers Against Criminal Thinking, which targets at-risk youth. Reading these sections reminds me 
that the Toastmasters community is far-reaching. It's a worldwide community of over 352,000 members belonging to 16,400 clubs in 141 countries. If you have never read the Toastmaster magazine, I encourage you to start including it in your daily schedule. It's only 30 pages long. By reading one page or one article a day, you'll be able to read it from cover to cover in less than a month. I guarantee that you will find at least one article that will inspire you to continue working towards your goals, enlighten you on how to improve your speaking and leadership skills, and connect you with the larger Toastmaster community that's beyond our group. Thank you.